Howdy everyone, Pete Daddy here. Today is the first day of Foot Player Days and to show everyone what it's like to be a true Foot Player, the EA servers were crashing out right as all the new content was releasing. I tried to make a video earlier today but it just kept crashing out, it would log me out. I would try to get back in, it would do the same thing, so thought I would try again now a few hours later. We do have a lot of new content. First off, you see this combo team staring at us right in the face. Some really strong players, some old fan favorites like Carlos Tevez and Antonio Valencia. And from what I've seen, some of these cards look pretty strong and they're pretty affordable. So it may be fun just to make a whole team of these combo ball players. Now, they will be a little bit hard to link if you just try to pick and choose one of them. You'll pretty much have to surround them with Nation. Like if you wanted Tevez, you'd maybe want to put them with Acuna and Messi or Aguero or Dybala, you know, something like that. You probably have to link them with Argentina. Someone like Valencia is going to be pretty much to link unless you link them with Icons or with other combo ball players. But we do have a new objective player as well. I did tweet about him earlier. It is this Player Moments Joe. And this card looks pretty strong. And let's take a look at what you need to do. Assist a goal with a through ball in two separate rivals matches. That should be no problem if you're playing rivals. Score an assist with forwards in two separate squad battles matches. So that's nice. A low driven goal and four separate rivals wins. It shouldn't be too hard if you want to do it. But I always hate it when they have the win condition uh, tied to an objective. And then score using Brazilian players and eight separate rivals wins. Again, it's not that hard to do. You can certainly put Neymar in your team or Roberto Firmino or some Brazilian that I'm sure can bang in some goals for you to get this objective. So if you want to do the Joe, he's not that hard to get. We may or may not do him. I'm not for sure. He has some solid stats, but he has one really poor stat, and that's his balance. And I don't remember if it was 61 or 67. But it's, it's really low. Now, we could boost it with something like an engine, get it up there to maybe a usable range. But the other thing, he's J-League, so he's going to be a little hard to link unless you have someone like David Villa or Iniesta. We just turned in our Iniesta in an SBC, the one that flashback Iniesta, I think it was. So, you know, we're not going to be able to link him with that. So he's going to be a little hard to play with. He may be good on a squad battle team or something like that. But I, I just I don't know that he's going to be worth it. But we may or may not do him. The other new thing we have, which I will give EA credit for this, we have Foot Player Days Weekend League. If you win 10 uh, Weekend League matches, then you get an extra player pick. If you win 18, then you get another player pick of 87+. plus. And if you win 24 matches, then you get a player pick with 88+. plus. So I do really, really like this. I think we need more of this in the game. I think this is really cool because this is from any Team of the Week up to Team of the Week 25. Our most recent Team of the Week was just terrible. So I'm glad they are doing this. This will give us something to look forward to to playing in Weekend League. And let's look at our SBCs. We do have one really strong new player out here. It's going to be Player Moments, Davison Sanchez. The only thing I don't like about this card is that he had an SBC for a, a Footmas SBC. So they're kind of giving him another one just a couple months later. But this is a really strong card. He has really nice pace. I would probably put a shadow on him just because I love boosting pace on my defenders. And that would make him 88 acceleration, 95 sprint speed. It would make his defensive stats really nice, and he's already pretty physical with his strength and aggression. He's pretty tall at six foot two. The only thing I don't like about him, his agility and balance is a little bit low, but when you are a taller player, you can get away with that a little bit. I do wish the agility was a little bit higher, but other than that, this is a phenomenal center back for a Premier League team, especially if you didn't do someone like that David Luiz, someone like that. So uh, if you can fit him into your team, I highly recommend them. We don't have anything in the Premier League going right now, so I'm, I'm going to skip it for the time being. But we do have four more days to make a decision, so things always change. We've got a brand new team to show you. And also, if you're new, make sure to subscribe down below. This is our Christmas to Glory team. And, you know, everything we've done, we restarted at Christmas just to get a new, fresh challenge in FIFA. So make sure to subscribe. And we do have one other thing. This is what I started on that started when the servers just completely messed up on me. We have a new SPC where you can get a rare Mega Pack, so that is pretty nice. And it requires 11 players from the same team. So I used the squad builder and just picked a Premier League team. And I was going through kind of, you know, I can't turn in Richarlison, obviously. And I don't want to turn in Hungman's son. So I was in the process of uh, changing the players out, only submitting the ones I wanted to submit. And then the whole, the servers just crashed out. And so 
we here we are again so let's change these back around we need a premier league striker let's see who we can put out there we'll just put dini we can leave haller i've got several hallers i think i have a couple on the transfer list so i'm not too worried if we submit haller or we'll put Lanzini for this cam. I don't mind submitting Torreira. I don't want to submit Juan Basaka. Let's put Aurier out here. Center back wise, what about Baez? Fine. Kepa, I don't want to submit an 84. I guess Claudio Bravo is fine. I don't think that was worth anything at this point. His, the, some of the Man City cards were worth more earlier. I don't want to submit this Fabian Delph. Um, let's see, we'll put Ducore out there. What do I have on the bench? Is everybody... I don't really mind submitting Lindelof. Let's do that. And I don't want to submit Lucas Mora. So we just need to make one more change, and we should have this ready to submit. Can we go as low as this Armstrong card? And we'll still have the rating. Okay, that's perfect. I think that's fine. I guess, let me see. Do I want to change the Haller? I mean, I do hate submitting an 83 for nothing. We'll just... Will that give us enough? That does not give us enough rating. So maybe we will just submit the Haller. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Just submit him. We're done with that. That'll give us a rare mega pack. Oh, and it's also EA did give us rewards for logging in. We got the Prime Gold Players Pack. Like I said, where, where we restarted at Christmas, we didn't have enough login days for the Ultimate Pack. So we'll see what we get from our Prime Gold Players Pack. And let's see, I think that's it. So let's go ahead and open up our packs. Let's see if we can get any of those new Combo Bowl Libertadores players. We've got our Prime Gold Players Pack. I'm assuming it's untradeable, but I don't know for sure. This was kind of the gift pack for logging in. Let's see if we can get anything from this. It looks like not. Just going to be a regular gold rare. Just a 77 rated from a Prime Gold Players Pack. That is atrocious. My gosh. While I'm on this, you know, I'm a little upset with EA. Let me just, let me show you guys what I have done. Um, where is it? Where is it? If we go to my games and apps, I, while I was frustrated with what was going on, I downloaded Pez. And just so you guys know, you can download this version for free. I have not opened it yet, but just with the way things are going, I know a lot of people are looking at going to Pez. I'd like to give it a try, see what it does. I've heard a lot of people say it's not as good as FIFA, which is certainly possible, you know, and the licensing can be an issue. But I'd like to try it and see, you know, give Pez a fair shake out of all this stuff. So here's all the players we got. And yes, it was an untradeable pack, but still just crazy. 77 rated, highest rated player from a prime gold players pack. I think that's a 45,000 coin pack. And we probably got, you know, basically discard value on every single player here. So about 7,000 coins, roughly, maybe a little bit less, probably 6,000 coins because six of them are common golds. So worth for them a 45,000 coin pack. So that's, you know, just part of what has people so frustrated. Oh, and the Pez thing, I don't know how long it will. I probably won't be able to get to Pez until next week. I'd like to get through some of my weekend league at least, try out this new team that I've, that I've met, that I've created. And, but I have seen, I don't know how long it's for, but if you go into Pez now, you do get a free Maradona, so that would be pretty awesome. So give you something fun to start off with. The Rare Mega Pack, let's see what we can get from our Rare Mega Pack. And I did not notice that this one was tradable or untradable, so at least we're getting something, I think, or, no, my gosh, this is just, I thought it was going to be a flag, but it's not. 82 rated Santi Cathorla from a rare mega pack. So just absolutely atrocious. And I believe the rare mega packs are, are they 50,000? I may have, may have gotten them mixed up with the Prime Gold Players packs, but they're in that, both in that 45, 50K range. They're very expensive packs. So roughly 100K of packs for our best players to be Ander Herrera and Santi Cathorla. So, you know, it's just, just atrocious to return. And yes, this one is untradeable. So just a bunch of untradeable stuff into the team. We do get several squad fitnesses, always come in handy. CM to cams, always handy. But just mostly just complete junk. You know, we do have Santi Cathorla tradable there. Egalo is not tradable. Boyata is not tradable. So just a bunch of junk. We'll just sell Cathorla for 900 if he will sell. And we'll just send the rest to the club. So, you know, that's the stuff that does get you frustrated. You don't really get hardly anything back from your packs. 
and not that you want everybody to have everything. I mean, it, it's you do have to have a fine line there, but you know, give us something that's maybe at least usable for an SBC, like a 84 Tadich or something like that. I don't know. I'm a little bit down on EA right at the moment. They're just similar certain situations that have happened with the servers. Also, what they've done to Kurt, I don't really agree with. So just a lot of things going on right now. But let's try to focus. Let's try to get our positive energy back, our positive juju let me show you this brand new team that i've made for weekend league i spent so much time creating this team i had to do a lot of grinding go through a lot of stuff to make this team so we're gonna have some big changes so no more lotaro up top no more and you'll see no more henrik mkhitaryan and i've i mean no more uh nine golan and I've, I've said nine golan's probably the best box to box midfielder i've played with all year i mean he did everything for us no more Dries mertens no more Kong Dagria shapeshifters. No more, um, who was it? Florenzi, Winter Refresh. No more Ter Stegen. No more Mkhitaryan. No more Palatano. We're making big changes to the team. No more Sergio Ramos. And no more Ferland Mendy. So the only player that's going to hold over from our last team is our main man, Michael Essien. So let me show you what I have done at striker. Well, he's not going to play striker, but for for uh, Kim style purposes, he will be a striker. We have did our Maguire. We completed the league-wide uh, championship SBC to get this Sean Maguire striker card. I'm going to use him as a wide cam, I think, with his with his pace. He's going to be able to make those runs up and down the wing for us. He's got 99 agility, 99 balance. Now his reactions and composure are a little off, but usually my wide cams aren't scoring a lot. I mean, they'll get a few goals, but they're more just to open up space, create a few things. So I'm not as super worried about his reactions and composure as if, if I had them. If you wanted to rely on, rely on him as your main striker, that can maybe be a concern. So we're going to have Maguire. So not only did I do the EFL Championship uh, League Wide SBC once, I did it twice to also get Calvin Phillips. So we got Maguire, we got Phillips. And the only reason you would do that is if you were going to bring in flashback Wayne Rooney into the club. So Wayne Rooney is now in the team. I told you guys when I saw that dynamic image with that, that beard, I just had to get him. So now Rooney's into the team. That's going to be pretty awesome. And if you've got Rooney in the team, not only do you need championship players, but you got to have Manchester United players. So Daniel James is going to be back into the starting lineup. We're going to link him with Juan Basaka. So that'll give them a strong link on the right to give them linked up on Kim style purposes. Our center back, I did another SBC to get Zakaria. So we're going to have Zakaria as our main man center back. Our other center back is actually going to be a CDM. This is going to be one of the few times I play a player off Kim. And I usually don't like to do this. It's more of a personal challenge to me to play everyone on full Kim. But we packed this Mbabu the other day in our guaranteed shapeshifter pack. And I thought, I've just got to get him into the team somehow. He just has too many good stats to use. And I think I'm going to go ahead and... What am I doing? Okay, we're still good. Let's flip Mbabu and Zakaria. And I've got something crazy in mind for Mbabu, but we'll look at that when we get into our tactics and everything. So who's going to be the keeper? It's the only other keeper I trust. Actually, I've started to trust De Gea ever since one of the recent patches. You know, this was several weeks ago. De Gea has started playing a lot better, so I do trust De Gea. So De Gea, Neuer, and Ter Stegen are the only three keepers I personally trust. I packed this Neuer team of the week several weeks ago from just a gold players pack. I have not even been able to play with them. You can see there's zero games. So this will give me an opportunity to play with this Neuer. I think that would be pretty cool. So now at left back, what we're going to rock over here is Alexandro. And the thing we put our most resources into, the guy that's going to bring it to bring us to the top, Cristiano Ronaldo. We got his left mid version. And that will link perfectly or link strongly with the Alexandro. So now Renato will be on 10 Kim. Sandro will be on 10 Kim. We'll have everyone on 10 except for Mbabu, who will be on 7 once I change my manager over here. So Mbabu is going to be on 7. And let me show you how I'm going to set this up. Now, the, one of the reasons I went with CR7 is I was playing in several drafts. And I've, I had the chance to get to get Cristiano a couple times, and he was just absolutely a monster for me. 
He was burying the ball left and right, just was playing it out. I had him a couple games almost like as a center forward or cam, and he was doing just everything for me. So, you know, I can't can't complain about that. I just had an opportunity to bring him in. He cost 860,000 coins. So most of our coins are now tied up in this Cristiano, but I think he's going to be worth it. So now let's play around. We need to bring in a Bundesliga manager to get. So let's see what we have. Do we have a Bundesliga manager? Because we need to get Mbabu up to seven chemistry. So we do have one Bundesliga manager. That should be fine. That takes Mbabu up to seven. Everyone else is on 10. So that's nice. And it's not my preference. It's not the end of the world. So, you know, don't ever panic if you do need to play someone on seven chem. It's not that big of a deal. It's almost for me just a personal challenge to make teams where everybody is on 10. Oh, actually, CR7 is going to need it. So we're going to need something like a Portuguese manager. Do we have a Portuguese manager or a Swiss manager? Let's see. Is there a Swiss manager or not from the Bundesliga? Okay, we have one Swiss manager. So he, he looks like a leader. And then we need to put a Serie A manager league on him. And then that should get Cristiano back up to 10. So there we go. So there's our Serie A manager league. And so now Mbappé would be on 7. Everyone else is now on 10. Let me back out. Sometimes it takes a second for the chemistry to update. So let me just make sure Cristiano's back to 10. It's kind of weird that it takes it a little bit. Yeah, so now Cristiano is on the 10. Everyone's on 10 except for Mbappé on 7. So now let me show you. Well, let's go through some chem styles and what I'm going to play everybody on. So Maguire, as far as the chem style goes, that's interesting. It recommended Shadow for him. Like, who would put a Shadow on Maguire? He's already at 98 pace. That's crazy. So for Kemp style for Maguire, he already has the pace, but he needs a little bit of boost everywhere else in the attacking categories. So what I'm going to put on him is actually a maestro. And this will help his shooting, his passing, and his dribbling. And I think it's going to make him a little bit more versatile because my wide cams, again, I don't ask them to score a lot. They will get some goals, but it's more assist and more unlocking defenses than it is just banging in goals. So let's take a look at Maguire with the, the maestro. It takes his attack position up to 99. His finishing is still at 93, which is strong. His shot power is now 91. Long shots I'm not that concerned about. I don't take that many long shots. His, but look at his passing vision is now 98. Short pass will be now, now be 97. His long pass is a little weak, but generally his passing will be in that short pass variety. Agility and balance still 99. Reactions are now 81, which is good. Ball control 89 and dribbling 96. So I just thought this would make him the more all-around player that I need him to be on that on that side. Plus he's got that epic pace to just make runs up and down the wing all day. Plus, with 91 stamina, 78 strength, I think he's going to do really well for us. I'm excited to try him out. The other downside about him, if you are thinking about doing them, he's only 3-star, three 3-star. Three I'm not a huge skiller, but it does come in handy sometimes on the wing. So we'll see how that goes. I do think it'll still be okay, but we'll, we'll give it a try. But if you're a big skiller, he's probably not your man. As far as Phillips goes, Phillips work rates are medium high. And let me show you, I didn't really pay attention to what McGuire's are or highlight it. He's high, medium, which is my favorite for that winger. You want him to, to really attack. You want him to come back a little bit, but mainly you want him to focus on his attacking. Phillips is perfect for a CDM, medium high. You want him to, eh, I'll attack a little bit, but I'm going to really work my butt off on defense. So he is our main defensive stopper now. And I believe what I'm going to put on him is an anchor just to really boost him up a little bit. I also thought about Shadow. I think maybe I am going to do Shadow on him. I think that's what I had decided, actually. We're going to put Shadow on Phillips. We're going to really boost his pace. His physical was already really strong. So, yeah, that's right. I was going to put Shadow on him. So that's going to make him 90 acceleration, 87 sprint speed. So that makes him pretty pacey, especially just in the, the middle of the pitch. You don't need a ton of pace. His interceptions are now 93. Defensive awareness, 93. Standing tackles, tough. Sliding tackles, good. But you see there, his physical stats are already really, really strong for a CDM. Strength of 91, aggression of 93, 95 stamina. So, plus he still offers quite a bit in attack. So, if we need to pass back to him, I'm not going to hesitate at all to pass back to him because he's going to be able to still distribute the ball for us and take care of his business. For Rooney, I think, gosh, what did I decide on Rooney? I've never forgot what I was going to put on Rooney. God, this because this was several hours ago when I thought about it. 
Let me see what his stats are again. See if it comes back to me. I don't remember. I don't think I was going to do engine. But I don't... For some reason, I didn't think it was Deadeye either. Was it Marksman? I think it was maybe going to do Marksman. I think Yeah, it was Marksman, I believe. I think Marksman... Let me double check this on Footbin real quick. I don't want to put the wrong thing on him. I'm pretty sure Marksman took his shooting just to, like, epic levels. It was... Let me just check this out real quick. Like I said, I kind of got this ready earlier today, but I haven't played any with this team. The servers had just went down. I just completely forgot what I was going to do with them. I think, let me see, Mark, yeah, it was Marksman. So check out what Marksman does to Rooney shooting when we put this on here. So, And again, why are they recommending Shadow for Rooney? Like, come on, EA. I mean, I'm, it does take a second, you know, so I don't even really, well, let me do... Go ahead and do this. Zakaria, I do want to have a shadow. They're recommending backbone, but like if at least you know you don't just hit it and, and mess it up. But how many people have probably put on a wrong and shadows are so expensive now, it's like crazy. So anyway, for Rooney, I want to put on this put on the marksman and check out his shooting after this marksman. It's just absolutely insane. His attack positioning is 95, finishing 99, shot power 99, long shots 99, volleys 99, penalties 97. According to Footbin, it makes his shooting actually 99, you know, when you round out everything there. So absolutely epic, epic, epic shooting stats. His passing is already pretty strong for someone who's going to be a cam striker, someone in that role. But the marksman also boosts his agility up a little bit, which is important. His other stats, you see his reactions and composure, 98 and 99. It's just absolutely insane card. Plus, it's going to make him even stronger. So his strength will be 95. His aggression will be 98. So I'm really excited to have that on him. And for Cristiano, I do recommend Engine. This is what I bought him with, but this is what I would put on him. If you'll see there, Cristiano's shooting stats are already really strong. But you're boosting up his passing a little bit, plus making him a little more agile and have more balance. So I do think Engine is the best for Cristiano. And when I played with Cristiano on my main team, I did run him with Engine. So I do agree with that. We are going to make one change, though. Michael Essien is now going to be my more box-to-box -box mid. He's going to be called on to do more, more attacking. So I'm going to change him from an anchor chem style to an engine chem style. So let's change him because I want to boost his passing and his dribbling. So we're going to change Essien to an engine. And he still has insane. You see there is still 90-90 defense and physical. So I think it's still going to really help him out. But it's going to give him really nice passing and dribbling stats to help out the attack. It makes his vision 83, short pass 96. Long pass 96, it makes his dribbling really nice. So when he's controlling the ball, and usually my CDM that's more the box-to-box -box CDM, they're not necessarily banging in goals. Now, Nangolan was banging in quite a few goals for us, but they do get quite a few assists or, the, or what you would call the hockey assist, that like second assist. So you do need him to be able to pass. You do need to be able to dribble. His shooting stats are okay, but his finishing's a little low. He will bang in a goal for us from time to time, but is primarily going to be boosting that passing and dribbling. Now on the back line here, let me do that last. So Zakaria is just going to be straight up shadow for him. So let's change this around. So for shadow for Zakaria, that's going to make his pace pretty immense. It's going to really boost up his defending and plus his physical 91 strength, 96 aggression. And that's going to make his defensive awareness 99. But it makes his acceleration 96 and sprint speed 99. So he's almost maxed out on pace for a center back. So that is pretty awesome. So I'm really excited about him. Plus six foot three, low, high work rates. I love it. I love it. I love it. So this is going to be awesome. Now for Mbabu, I've got some interesting thoughts here. I've been kind of playing around with this. I think what I'm going to do for Mbabu is put on, I'm not going to boost his pace at all. I'm going to give him, well, let me, let me just look at him one more time. This is what I've been kind of the most hung up on as far as what I'm going to do for Mbabu. I believe I was going to put backbone on him because I wanted to boost his passing, his defending, but he doesn't really need a boost to his physical. So he could use a little bit more aggression. I thought about just giving him an engine, honestly, and just getting his pace up there, getting his passing and dribbling, but you still want him to be able to defend I think I'm going to just try the, the backbone on him. I believe that's what I want to do. And it'll make a little bit more sense in a second. 
Let me just look at his pace one more time. Just give it a little bit more thought. Let's think about it a second. This was the one I was the most undecided about as far as what to do. But, you know, you do want to boost that up a little bit. I wonder if I should give him something like... Because 93.96 is nice. I think that's going to be fast enough because, like, Sandro is going to be 96.95. I think that would be plenty fast enough. Let's just stick to the original plan. What I'm going to put on Mbabu is actually... Let's find it. A backbone because I want to boost his passing, his defense, and his physical. And the reason I want to do that is because in game, what I'm going to do, I'm going to play Mbabu at right back, and I'm going to move Wambasaka from right back to center back. And I know that kind of sounds crazy because you don't really think of Wambasaka as someone that could play center back, but he is a pretty epic defender, and he's actually taller than you think. He's six foot tall, so he's not like one of these five foot six fullbacks. He's actually pretty tall, but his one downside is his strength. So what I'm going to put on Mbabu, I mean on Wambasaka, I'm going to give him, is it, I believe it's Guardian is what it's called. It just boosts defense and physical. So let me check this out. Yeah, so it's, no, it's Sentinel, Sentinel. That's the one. Sentinel that boosts defense and physical. He's already got enough pace to play center back, but that's going to make his strength 82, his aggression 92, his defensive awareness will be 95, his stand tackles will be really strong. So I think it's going to make him strong enough to play center back. So that's what I'm really hoping. But the one thing I don't like about Wambasaka, I've always thought he's been an epic defender as a right back, but he cannot pass the ball. And I've said this multiple times. You need a fullback that can make those passes up the wing. So I'm, but. I don't think 8891 is enough. Like if I just boosted his passing, defending, and physical as a right back, I don't think 8891 is fast enough. So I think you need to boost his pace some. So I'm feeling like if I do this, I'm gonna switch Wambasaka and Mbabu endgame, have Wambasaka play center back where the passing isn't as important. You know, it's still nice to be able to make those distribution passes out from the back, but I think it's gonna really pay off. And so let me show you how I'm going to set this up in game. I'll just show you from my main tactic, the 4-2-3-1. We are going to play here. And the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to put McGuire on the left, Daniel James on the right. And I think what I'm going to do, if I can get over there, sometimes you just can't get them over there. And I think I'm going to play Rooney at striker and Cristiano at cam. And one of the biggest reasons is because Rooney does not have as much stamina as Cristiano. So I'm worried if I put Rooney at cam, he's going to tire out a little bit more. Cristiano has some epic, epic stats top to bottom. Rooney now has like 99 shootings. So if we get him the ball, he should just be able to bury it. So I think that's what we're going to do. And I didn't finish setting that up. So go back over here. So and then I need to switch Essien and Phillips because Phillips is now going to be my defensive mid, the one that I'm just going to rely on to bail me out at the back. And then Sandro, Zakaria, and then I'm going to switch Mbabu out to right back. And Wambasaka is going to play center back. So that is what I'm thinking. I think this team looks pretty epic. I think it'll be a lot of fun. The only thing that I'm feeling bad about right now, I spent so much time doing all this. I spent so much time doing all this. But for the price of Cristiano, I could have made me a really nice combo ball Libertadores team. So that's the only thing that kind of has me a little bit down. Like, look at let's look at the prices. Like, let's look up this Lopez right here, see if we can find him. Some of them have taken a little while to update in game. Well, let's see if we can find him. It's which Lopez is it? Gosh, I've done forgot which one it is. I thought it was Alessandro. Now, let me look him up. I've done forgot which one that one is. He, I think he used to play in League Un, actually. Yeah, it's, it's Lissandro Lopez. That's what I thought it was. So let's see if we can find his special version. So, you know, he's going pretty pricely, actually. He's pretty expensive. But this one has some really nice stats. You see there, pace 88.90, really strong shooting, decent agility and balance. Or, you know, high, high work rates, four star, four star. Some of the other ones, I must have not have been him. There were some other ones I was looking at that were still pretty cheap. I know one of them, the Antonio Valencia, for what he brings to the table, 
is really cheap as well. Let me see if I can find him in the team here too. I've missed Antonio Valencia this year. He would have been a nice link for the Daniel James if he was still at Manchester at Manchester United. This Valencia last I look was like 190. So yeah, you see there 180, 200, right around that range. But look at these stats on this Antonio Valencia. 92, 91 pace, you know, I mean, really strong passing, really strong dribbling, good defense, good physical, 90 strength. I mean, that's just a really epic card. So, and then some of these other ones, like, let me just look at one here. Let me bring this up. Because there were a couple, like, of the, especially some of the wide players. Let me look at one of these. Yeah, it was th this guy right here. Let me find him. Now, this guy's pace is absolutely immense, but he does have a composure problem. So let me find him right here. You see, this is a player with 99 pace going for right around 70,000 coins, and he still has decent shooting stats. His finishing is low, but you see there, shot power 99, long shots 99. So if you just take shots out of the box with him, he may bury some. 98 agility, but you see their composure is 71, reactions is 80. But this could be someone that could be epic for just opening up defenses, just flying up and down the wing, kind of like an Adama Traore. So there's several cards like this and that may be what we do next you know you kind of need to change up your teams from time to time i was loving playing with my team with Dries mertens and nine golem but you need to change it up keep it fresh you know just get some new things going get a new challenge so it doesn't get stale it's easy to get stale in this server environment we have from ea so makes it hard at times but anyways guys i just wanted to show you the new team i created for weekend league go over some of the new content let me know what you guys are going to do what you want to complete maybe we can make this comable libertadores team let me know if you have any ideas for that but anyways guys make sure to subscribe down below follow me on twitter follow me everywhere and i'll see you guys soon bye